Hey y'all, so today we're going to look at the Victorinox Cybertool M. We have it here on the bench. Uh, what I'm going to start with, I'm going to start with a brief run over of what tools it has on the knife and then get into it. I try not to go super in depth into the tools because most Swiss Army knife tools are all kind of the same. Most knives have a good assortment of the same tools, so there's no reason to go super in depth. Uh, so we'll start with the tools. So, right, first off the bat, um, this is kind of a new offering from Victoria Knox because of this, right? We'll talk about the main tool first. This is their little bit wrench, uh, I believe is what they call it, but it's basically just a little mini screwdriver with a bunch of different uh, attachments, right? So see here, um, this is actually one of the reasons I really like this knife, and this is actually kind of my favorite knife right now because of it. But what this little bit driver is, is this little thing that snaps out. You can have it both straight out or kind of at a uh, sideways angle, depending upon uh, how much torque you need. And it just has these little bits, little screwdriver bits here. Don't know how well that shows up. Um, that kind of click into it with a little ball detent and gives you the ability to work on a lot of different stuff, you know, different modern technology like computers and stuff, um, you know, without needing a separate tool. Kind of kind of pulls the Swiss Army knife more towards the Leatherman side of things with having, you know, different bits and stuff. You know, that's the one thing uh, people always say about Leatherman over Swiss Army knives is it, they offer more variety of tools. Well, this kind of closes the gap on that. There, I'm just showing some of the tools, and again, uh, I don't know how well it shows up on camera, but there is, uh, if you go on the website, there is a full list of the different bits that come with it. But it's just a uh, assortment of different screwdrivers and then Torx bits and stuff. So again, I'm not going to go super in-depth because that's all online. And, you know, I don't want this video to be 20 minutes long. So that is the really claim to, sh claim to fame of the... Uh, cyber tool series, you know, this being the cyber tool M, which is kind of the middle, the mid size cyber tool. There's one bigger and then one smaller, obviously. Um, right, so it comes with that, and then in there I showed you the little holder that holds them. So now I'll just go over the rest of the tools. Uh, standard full size blade, really nice, really sharp, you know, stainless steel, don't have to worry about it too much, right? Small blade, again, you know, standard Swiss Army knife. Works good, you know, nice to have a separate blade for uh, opening boxes and stuff without gumming up your larger blade. Um, can opener with small flathead screwdriver on the end. Never used it, assuming it works good, right? Uh, bottle opener. I have used the Victorinox bottle openers. They work good. It has a wider uh, flathead screwdriver on there, and I believe that's a wire stripper. Never used a wire stripper, but the wider flathead and the bottle opener seem to work good. Victorinox scissors. Um, always a fan of Victorinox scissors. They're self-sharpening, and they're actually pretty robust for their size. I um, really do like them. As you can see, they got some gunk on them because I use them. They're good for cutting out stuff, and they work in a pinch, right? The pliers. Now, the pliers are one of the main reasons why I went with this size, the medium size cyber tool, over the small size because the small size doesn't have the pliers. And the pliers, again, much like the scissors, it's just a nice little thing to have that kind of helps close the gap between having like a, a pocket knife and a multi-tool. So I really like having the pliers on there. So that's the one side. On the other side, you've got your standard Swiss Army knife corkscrew with a little screw, little mini screwdriver. Uh, good to have if you're someone who has glasses like myself or work on tiny little projects, right? Nice little thing that goes in there and doesn't take any excess space. Um, your little parcel hook or package hook or whatever they call it. Uh, basically, it's just a little hook that, you know, um, if you're carrying something that's like basically wrapped in wire or something like that, it's a nice little hook to put it on and carry stuff around. Um, not used it, but I do see the usefulness in having it on there. And then finally, uh, see if I can get it open, you have your little awl, right, with, you know, for sewing and, and minor repairs and putting holes in leather and stuff like that, right? So that's all the internal stuff. Again, I'm going over it briefly just because um, I don't want to make this video super long, right? In the scales, I believe this does have the plus scale, so you get your tweezers in one side, 
And then on the other side, you have your toothpick, which actually does come in handy, especially when you're cleaning gunk out of your phone's charging port, as uh, so often I find myself doing from pocket lint and stuff. And a pen, right? Full, nice size pen. Not the world's biggest, but again, it fits into the knife scale. It's nice to have a pen. Uh, maybe there's a check you have to sign or you're writing down an address for someone, something small. It's nice to have a small pen, you know, better than nothing. Again, it's not the world's most comfortable pen, but, you know, if I've got to write something down, it's nice to know that, hey, at least there's a pen somewhere. So that's pretty much the features of the knife. Um, now, I guess I'll give my personal thoughts on it. My thoughts on it, I love it. Um, this is one, this is my current knife I'm carrying. You know, I have a, an assortment of Swiss Army knives that I go through and I uh, periodically change out and carry for something different. And ever since purchasing this one, the Cybertool M, this has been all I've carried since it arrived. Um, got it off Amazon Prime, which was nice. Got to me in two days and no issues at all. Uh, I've had no issues with the knife not working. Um, the bits, the only thing I will say negative is, I believe these are, and correct me if I'm wrong, I believe these are the four millimeter bits, right? So um, if you're used to different screwdriver sets that have the different changeable bits, um, these are slightly smaller than the standard ones you might find at Lowe's or Home Depot. Again, I believe they're referred to as the 4mm bits. They're just smaller. Um, it can be quite hard to find if you're looking for uh, different bit sets that work with this. Um, it can be kind of difficult because most small screwdriver bits this size, and again, they kind of call it the cyber tool because I guess it's, this bit set is kind of geared towards working on electronics, which I have found it to be useful in uh, working on electronics because of the torque bits and stuff. Um, also, home repair, I might add. I had to tighten the doorknob last night, and this thing came to the rescue. Um, but finding extra bits for it, can be a little annoying because of, again, these are not held in by magnet, they're held in by ball detent. So you have to find specific screwdriver sets that hold in by ball detent. Or um, what happens is, I know some people, if they find the magnetic sets, they'll just take a little tiny neodymium magnet or something and stick it in there and then they work. But the sets are out there and there are a couple um, that work off ball detent. So if you're really someone that wants to expand the bit selection, that can be done. But uh, really, that's my only negative is, again, the fact that they use this smaller and harder to find bit set, which, I mean, you know, this is something meant to go in your pocket, so I can understand them not wanting to have a huge uh, bit wrench in there taking the much lo the uh, larger bits. But yeah, like I said, overall, I really like this knife. Um, I found, it's funny, because I actually have the largest of the three, the uh, the L, and something I noticed was I, again, I purchased this after purchasing the L because I noticed that the L and I, I should have brought it here today, but I'll probably do a comparison of them uh, in a later video if people are interested. Um, the L is kind of the same size as the Swiss Champ, which is kind of on the big side if you're going to carry it in a back pocket because you're sitting on it and it can be kind of annoying. And um, sometimes I'll carry in like my watch pocket or lighter pocket, whatever you want to call that little pocket on the front of your pants. Um, and I found that sometimes it could be a bit big to slide in there where this thing being, you know, it's not much smaller, but it is smaller. And it just that little bit of difference in uh, thickness really made uh, carrying it less of a pain. And again, you know, it's not much of a pain, but, you know, you ride around with something in your back pocket all day long, especially if you're driving, you tend to notice it. But um, again, that's, you know, kind of my thoughts on the thing. I really like it. I got to say, it's nice to see Victoric Knox kind of move forward a little bit and start offering tools on here that uh, might be more useful to the modern day person. You know, obviously the bottle opener and uh, corkscrew have kind of, they've kind of lost their, um, you know, usefulness over the years. You know, it's still nice to have them. And, uh, you know, like obviously Victoric Knox became iconic for some of that stuff. But, um, you know, it's nice to see them offer newer newer tool sets on their knives. So, uh, again, that's my quick thoughts on the Victoric Knox Cybertool M. I uh, can't recommend it highly enough. Or, like I said, the Cybertool series is really cool. Um, but, yeah, just pretty cool. And uh, definitely recommend. The, uh, they do offer it in the red translucent and the blue translucent. Um, I don't know if you can get them into traditional red. I have looked. 
but I haven't been able to find it. It would be nice to see them in just your traditional red, but the translucent is kind of nice. And it doesn't matter because, I mean, they get beat up anyway because, you know, it rides around in your pocket. But, yeah, that's my quick thoughts. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask them, and have a good day.